we are launching, we are opening doors for admissions now. And welcome to all of you. Yeah, ma'am. good to see you. Can we close? Sure. <coughs> so excited about uh, um, what Shashank has actually uh, spoken about. It's passion. It's um, bringing in a new age of learning. Very excited about it, uh, considering that you know the last 20 years have been uh, invested in this industry. Um, it's kind of like uh, bringing in an all-rounder, which we need right now. Um, and I think um, that's the passion um, that we are supporting uh, as far as Shashank's vision is concerned. Bringing in all elements in. Sir, you introduce yourself and what yes. is your company? So, my name is Nick Kekeskinen. I'm CEO of Mr. Shashank's company, the background company for the school, and also the founding principal of Finland International School Race Course. This is the fourth country, personally for me, outside Finland that I am, I am working for establishing school or, or heading it. And uh, if you ask me one thing, what makes us unique, let's say globally, is that we are bringing Finnish education, Finnish pre-primary and primary education curriculum merging with International Baccalaureate IB middle years program, diploma program and careers program also in the future. So we are really, really establishing something new and unique in Mumbai. Super. Yeah. Yes. So I just wanted to add what um, uh, Fatima said is so the entire passion is mine and everything but it is not achievable without Fatima here so and and she is required that then only the entire holistic and the overall development of the school what we are wanting to achieve will be achieved okay. and what is the future and what is the practice so future the is Finland. Yeah, so basically future of Finland education is very simple is that uh, this is the third school we are doing. We are looking at more and more schools, but not at, at the cost of quality. So mm -hmm. like a lot of people do franchising, a lot of people do franchising. We are looking at management alliances mm -hmm. where the entire quality of the uh, education the school is imparting is in the control, in, in our control and not the franchiser because when it is a franchise people start cutting corners and looking to get profits out of it. This is mainly to, uh, you know, we are doing this for quality education so that the next generation or whoever is studying in our school will be happy of what they have learned and take things ahead and obviously it will help the country as well but not at the cost of quality. What is the philosophy of the class? So, philosophy, I would say, I, I think Anna could better explain. <laughs> yes. yes. Um, we want to make sure that the children are the number one in our schools. So, uh, Finnish approach is uh, renowned for the child centered or learner centered approach, where the well being of each individual child is at the center. We focus on personalized learning paths so each child can get the support they require to make the most um, and, and thrive in the 21st century. Skill development and um, understanding of, of concepts are key um, in our education. I also want to add to what Nikke was saying that uh, yes, uh, the alignment of uh, the international baccalaureate uh, framework with the Finnish approach is very important, but equally the national education policy 2020 is uh, um, at the uh, like a bottom of what we are doing here. So we are very happy to kind of re uh, revolutionize the landscape of educational uh, setting here in Mumbai, setting example, new benchmark to um, what education is about, and actually also globally, we um, we want to be the ones setting example. How does French teaching method differ from traditional school? Interesting. Um, essentially, uh, I think what Anna actually spoke about was about um, learning by doing which is very different from our traditional uh, approach, which is standardized curriculum. You know, we have frameworks for it. Um, you, 
I mean, whether it's home economics, whether it's textiles, whether it's arts and craft, whether it's uh, woodworks, you're getting an opportunity to actually um, build on your skills which is very different from uh, traditional schools um, quite frankly aap kaun se school se the i'm from uh, ssc ssc na to maybe the icse se we didn't have those opportunities this is actually allowing children to learn by doing which is very different from our supw <laughs> kind of thing <laughs> And if I can add to that, the academic subjects are very important, but equally experiential learning. Again, we really want to emphasize each child um, has their inner passion. We want to bring that yeah. up with home economics. We've got um, woodcraft, we've got textile craft, robotics, all built in our curriculum. So it's all hands-on, but it's also a very rigorous um, at the same time. So imagine your child um, actually picking up a subject and learning because he wants to learn that uh, and that's your chance of vision right that if he wants to to figure out how to build a, a tower someone should support him and that is actually essentially what the finnish education is and multidisciplinary approach to learning is then one answer to the question compared to let's say traditional teaching and maybe learning and then how we want to want to do it so multidisciplinary learning is blending all the subjects so subjects kind of don't come first but the learning go through subjects so okay. practical knowledge yeah practical, practical, knowledge. practical knowledge oh acha uh, what is the temperature today in mumbai 35 35 ha huh. Highest temperature? Thirty-four, thirty-five. Thirty-five. Highest ever? Highest, ever. highest uh, fifty-seven. In what? Uh, not in Mumbai. In Mumbai, it would be thirty-eight, thirty-nine maximum. I mean, no, maximum. no. I think recently newspaper yes. me aaya tha the highest uh, highest temperature was thirty-nine point something in 39. the past ten years. Yes. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So we want the children to know why. Hmm. Why? And what can we do? I mean, we know why now. What can we do? And that's really the team working behind. So, if you see this, this, this entire uh, this building, we did not construct an entire new building, right? Mm. We took a 70-year-old building and refurbished it, right? We are looking, taking care of the environment right from the start. If you will see, none of the interiors has fall ceilings because to get that fall ceiling in the amount of carbon footprint it will have, that is going to make a difference. and environmental yes. stewardship is one of our uh, values as ah, well big and that we yeah. want to make sure that it shows in what we are doing yeah. and also we expecting the um, children to be um, yeah. setting the example as well yeah. so it's about um, also building um, concept which is uh, acknowledging the ever the changing world we've got global um, citizens growing up um, here with us we want to make sure that they're culturally sensitive but also aware of the an impact of their own actions And when I recruit teachers, I finalize the set of discussion with the question: Who is ultimately responsible for learning? Is it teacher, parent, or student? Most of the teachers are answering: It's me, teacher. I, I, I'm responsible for learning. But I don't think that's the right question. It should be the student, ultimately, ultimately. So we need to teach them, make them learn the skills that they. <laughs> they they need in the future yes. and quite frankly uh, been in this industry for 20 years i think uh, thanks to shashank uh, we have the finish way finally which talks about all rounder yes. which talks about life skills which talks about learning um in a way that will help you um you know to do whatever you want to do and you don't have to go to columbia or a harvard uh, or an oxford but i think what uh, the finnish education is providing us with is an opportunity to recognize who we really are and what we really want to be 
I think maybe again I, I will add to uh, what Nick mentioned that he's worked in many countries um, before and I think I've learned about the Finnish approach when I've been abroad. So I've also um, worked in the UK and in Qatar in United Arab Emirates in, in addition to Finland and now India as well. And, and something that I really want the uh, children to learn is to think for themselves, not just accept something that's been told mm -hmm. as this is, is what it is. Yeah. So we want to make sure that uh, uh, we also um, encouraging them to be thinkers uh, and that aligns very beautifully with the uh, International Baccalaureate. Mm -hmm. Um, framework. What support services are available for for students that begin at FIS? What uh, support uh, so services? We have appointed um, counselor as well as uh, special education needs teacher. Um, additionally, we ensure that we've got small groups when the children are working in and also um, co-teaching so there will be uh, more than one teacher in the room with the students so that we can truly um, support each individual with their um, personalized learning uh, plans. Also what happens is when we plan the lesson plans, we have a differentiation. So we recognize the child's talent, uh, we and therefore we customize. So it's kind of very, very personalized. And if there would be any kind of learning uh, support need or maybe psychosocial need also uh, regarding your growth, we don't want to send the child to someone. Mm -hmm. So that's why individual class teacher, subject teacher and teacher teams, yeah. their own skills also to recognize those support needs early and act and work preventively. It's very important. We don't want to like send a child, go to counselor, mm. go to psychologist. We want to work them. They come to the children, they come to the classroom. And also the teachers get the support. So uh, the teachers are working closely together in order to and develop further. And um, that, that is one of the big things you need to be able to um, support the teachers in their work as well. Not, not just in the beginning of each term, but weekly and daily in impact. So, you know, one of the other things is when we talk about all-rounder, Shashank, talk about the association that we have with uh, NSCI. So, so, actually the thing is that when we're talking about holistic uh, development of the mm. child, right? So, a lot of, lo in general, in the schools which we have in, uh, in India and everything, it's, it's basically extracurricular activities, mm. right? In this school, there is nothing called extracurricular activities.